Bill Diggity, I got your video and it was great video. It was about 13 minutes long and you addressed a whole wide array of points about disfellowshipping and your feelings about it. But you didn't address the issue of disassociation from the Watchtower Society as being justification of shunning or not. The reason I ask is because when I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses, there was an article read, and I was the reader. And in that article, it likened ones like you to an unsuitable fish. And then it miraculously stated you weren't an unsuitable fish. I'll show you the article. July 15th, 2008. You do not know where it will have success. Watchtower Magazine. As with the unsuitable fish, many who once studied the Bible with Jehovah's people have stopped studying. Some born to Christian parents have never really wanted to become footstep followers of Jesus. Unsuitable fish. Some born to Christian parents have never really wanted to become footstep followers of Jesus. Unsuitable fish. Some born to Christian parents have never really wanted to become footstep followers of Jesus. You were just likened to an unsuitable fish, Hillary. But then, when you click the footnote right there, beep, does that, does this mean that everyone who has stopped studying or associating with Jehovah's people has been thrown away as unsuitable by the angels? No! If someone sincerely desires to return to Jehovah, he will find the way open. In this case, returning to Jehovah means playing a watchtower game. So, I had to read that from the platform, and I felt that that was cognitive dissonance in its full-blown form, and that it's damaging to ones like your mother, who read that, and they feel deep in their heart pain that their daughter's an unsuitable fish, and then they're comforted. No, she can still come back. She still has a chance. And I decided I wasn't going to play this game anymore. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. After I'd been educated on logical fallacies, thanks to a tip from Tim Kilgore to examine logical fallacies, I knew this was cognitive dissonance. I recognized it for what it is, and it's done intentionally in the Watchtower Society. So what I did was I called the elders that night, and I told them I will not be reading any more publications from the platform. I will not be banging on doors bringing people into this religion, and I certainly will not sit under these teachings anymore because I feel it's propaganda, and that it's damaging to people. And they told me, well, then you're disassociating, you're shunning yourself. You're going to, you're dis disfellowshipping yourself and will be shunned. And I said, well, I guess that's fine. But now, Hillary, if that was you and you're disassociating because you do not agree with the Watchtower teachings and you will no longer go along with this and you verbally tell people, is that justification for you to be shunned by your family and friends? Is that normal? in a religion? Do Protestant religions do this? Shun their family members who say, I don't want to be a part of this religion anymore? Do the Catholics do this? Well, you quoted a bunch of things showing, well, they don't really practice excommunication, but I'm addressing disfellowshipping for leaving the religion. Not for sex. Not for drugs. Not for being beaten by your spouse not for passing notes in the Kingdom Hall, and I'm talking about real shunning where not one member speaks to you because you are now what is categorized as a full-blown apostate for leaving. You're evil because you left. You're bad. So, you don't agree with cognitive dissonance. You now have a choice, Hillary. You can either keep your mouth shut and play their game or you can be shunned by your family and friends for opening your mouth. That's the choice. You see, not everybody comes from the background you came from. Not everybody has liberal parents or parents that are socially retarded or whatever. Some people take this stuff very seriously and they will shun their children for leaving. Or they'll shun their parents who leave. It happens. And the Watchtower Society not only encourages this, they force it upon the members under the threat of expulsion for all who do not comply. Does that fit the criteria of a destructive cult? That is my question to you, Hillary. Does disassociation from the Watchtower Society justify shunning? 
And if you're raised in it, you have a choice. Ciao.